Ulysses Del Bosque has lived in his home in downtown Los Angeles for 32 years. But with California landlords now legally permitted to increase rents by as much as 10 percent, Del Bosque could soon be forced out. Me siento un poco nervioso. I feel a little nervous every time I come to the mail because I don't know if there's going to be an eviction note or a note from the court. Del Bosque says his landlord bought the property two years ago and is trying to evict him for pushing back against the rent increase. His neighbor Juan Garcia, who has lived next door for 17 years, says he is also fighting eviction for refusing to pay 10 percent more. Where do I stay? Well, on the street. But I hope that this will be resolved soon to know what is going to happen. Their rent increases come after statewide safeguards to prevent evictions during the health crisis came to an end. The two men are now being helped by a local group called Strategic Action for a Just Economy, whose executive director, Cynthia Strathman, says the rent hikes couldn't come at a worse time. Many tenants saw decided decreases in their income during the pandemic. So we're in an unfortunate situation where uh, inflation may allow landlords to increase rent just at a time when, when tenants can't really afford it at all. I think 10 percent is a lot of money, but rents haven't gone up much at all in the last three years. They were actually restricted from going up at all. L.A. landlord Larry Rubenstein says he and other landlords are not looking to gouge renters. So if someone raises their rent 10 percent, they're just playing catch up. They're not getting ahead of it. They're not making more money. They're not buying a yacht. They're just trying to make ends meet. Los Angeles is now one of the most expensive places to live in the U.S., with the median rental price now sitting at over $3,100 a month, according to Zillow.com. That's 45 percent higher than the national median. L.A. real estate agent Chris Lucibello says demand for rentals locally and nationwide has skyrocketed. Now's the opportunity for those landlords to protect their investment and actually get market value for, for their leases. But that leaves many, like 71-year-old Linda Kay, who is disabled, in a tough spot, struggling to cover the cost of rent on a limited income. Nowadays, you can't even get uh, a single under $1,000 a month. I barely get that. 